Hi, my name is Zaim Skandar. Uh, tonight's video will be about a certain Indian driver that was snapped up by Red Bull. Okay. But before I get into him, there were two Indian representatives. Used to. One, I think, retired after the 06, 05, 06 season, maybe. Is a Narayan Kartakian. He used to drive a Jordan and he, he also scored a point in the, with the Jordan team in that fateful US Grand Prix where all the machine runners was protesting yeah, and only the Bridgestone runners was on track, there were 6 drivers yeah, on track so the other Drivers did not decided not to participate in the race. Yeah, you know, again, there's a video on the on FLC YouTube channel. So yeah, you guys can watch it. So, yes, so this Indian guy is is actually Gurubala. But before I get into him, this is actually Gurubala. But before I get into him, there was another Indian guy that raced for the HRT team. His pair, Aspania, has Aspania Racing Team. Aspania Racing Team. The H is there. Aspania Racing Team. The Spanish based team. He, he was actually involved with F1 in 2009 and maybe 2010, When he joined Lotus, Lotus in 2011 but he lasted under the German Grand Prix by the way when I say Lotus is not the Lotus racing team that was bought over by Lotus themselves but this team was belongs to the so the most underrated airlines in belongs the owner is uh, the most underrated airline air, air, L, uh, L, uh, low cost carrier in Asia. Most underrated. And he's a founder and he is also the chairman and CEO. And he used to own a world club by the name of Prince Park Rangers, then he sold it off. Then he revert the Lotus team name to Caterham. Now his low-cost career is involved with a corruption case with the British and the French authorities. So yeah, and Karan Chanduk used to race with the Lotus team in 2011 before he was over by Lotus company in 2012 where they snapped up Raikkonen. Where they also got Renault as their engine supplier, and Renault bought the team over in 2013. I think 2014 they re entered F1 with the Renault Sports, Renault F, Renault Sports F1 team. Yeah. So, yeah, they bought over, and the uh, chairman of Renault right now is. Alam Pros, the four times version. So uh, I will not go further into that. Back to my agenda of my video. Yes, Duruvala. Jehan Duruvala. This is from India, as you guys know. And last week. I'm correct. Okay, he. I follow him on his IG. I followed him on his IG. Months starting the end of last year. Okay, he is, I think, he's from the Formula 2 or Formula 3. Mm, I'm not sure. But Red Bull signed him up into their development setup. And um, Red Bull can be really, 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 really. Uh, 
struggle with their drivers like Dikem, like Hartley, like Gazi, Kifiat Science, Science sadly, Science fortunately survived even though he did not get a chance to drive for Red Bull but he survived and drove for McLaren Yazli, Yazli, Alban, Yazli, Alban, and Kifiat, the most recent gossip drivers about getting promoted and getting demoted to a certain name, a certain team that was formerly named as Toro Rosso. To be more Italian, they name it with a Italian. They rene, they rebranded the team with a super Italian name, like the name of Alpha Tuare. Tua. Ta Tua. It's T A U R I. That is Alpha Tuare. 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 Alpha Tuare. So yeah, means Alpha means Alpha. The spelling of Alpha is not like Alpha Romeo. It's L A A L P H A. Yeah. Ah, Alpha. So yep. Uh, Durvala might be involved with testing with either Red Bull in the RB16 or in the EH1. H zero one, okay. So yeah, so the, as you guys know, Alfa Tuare was formerly named, named Astor Rosso, and they still have the red bull sticker on the car. A super Italian name for a red bull, but actually that name is already based in Italy. The test track is somewhere in Italy. The, the base is also somewhere in Italy, but not close to Maranello and Ferrari's test track. So, yeah. Hopefully, we get to see a third Indian driver in F1. Yeah. In the last. In, in the last. 20 or 30 odd years compared to Malaysia compared to Malaysia Malaysia's last pre representative was actually sponsored by the Malaysian government but that was way back when I was we, uh, when I was really young in 2001 uh, between 2001 and 2003 there was an election of that and and it was under our prime minister then, then prime minister, and he was with um, uh, the alliance party, and now he's partyless in politics. So yeah, so yeah, and he is actually an interim. Prime Minister also, and he is also our seventh Prime Minister, Dr. Hadi. Uh, sadly, his predecessor will ruin the world of F1 in Malaysia, especially with a, a certain Jasmine Jaffa and Nabil Jaffa. At the last minute, they decided not to sponsor Nabil Jaffa. Hey, sorry, Jasmine Jaffa, I think that was in 2010 or 2011. Yeah, estimated sponsorship he needed to be in F1 was 63 million ringgit. That sounds a lot, but if you. That sounds a lot. Back then he did not have that much. That, that many sponsors. And sadly, thanks to him. Thanks to him, our 6th Prime Minister, 
pull out of the deal at the last minute. If not, Jasmine would have been a race winner or even a world champion. And Malaysia's first world champion. Thanks to him. And thanks to him, I, I can never see Raikkonen again racing in Malaysia. She terminated the contract that should have ended in 2018 a year earlier. Just a couple of months before our first general general elections. So I, I'll not go further into Malaysian politics. So yeah, hopefully in the future Dorovala gets to race with the likes of um, uh, the big guns from Red Bull, from Mercedes, from Ferrari, uh, the likes of the likes of Verstappen, the likes of Elbert, the likes of if Bottas doesn't retire from F1, if Vettel doesn't retire from F1, if Raikkonen doesn't retire from F1, if Lewis Hamilton doesn't retire from F1, uh, the likes of Ricardo, Sainz, Russell, Juvenazzi, uh, other drivers, and a certain driver that I should not pronounce, I should not see out his nationality because in respect of the innocent Palestinians that are dying as of now. So yeah, you know what country is that right? So mm, I'm not gonna mention his country, but his name is Roy Basini. That's the only Thing I'm going to mention about him, but not the country of his name. Yeah. So, but sadly, um, since the only race in the whole world that gets controlled the, the media is the that Adolf Hitler tried to erase from history during World War II. Yes. I'm not getting into the world history in this video. This is only about F1. So, yeah. He's, he's from that religion and he's from that country that in a few months time during Ramadan we, the con that country will just keep bombarding in Palestine every single freaking day in the month of Ramadan and they have illegal sell sell settlements also so yes that guy is from that country I'm not going to mention the name is from that country call me whatever you guys want to call me anti zionism anti sam sanitism something I don't care but if I hate that country that means I hate that country sorry so yeah that's how should I that's how how should I that's how I should end my video tonight so yeah hopefully I get to see Durvala racing with that guy from that country that attacks Palestine that attacks Palestine and that makes illegal settlements for their people illegally that is against international law so and he is in Formula 2 racing this year in his debut season and Williams just signed him as a test reserve and development driver that is such a disrespectful thing to do 
to the Palestinian people and I'm from Asia that's such a disrespectful thing to do to the Palestinian Palestinian people if I, I was a team owner of Williams or any other F1 team owner in the paddock I would not have signed any drivers from that country even though they have the ability the credentials or the skills or the talent to be in F1 to be in any type of in any type of one seater championship or even in any type of endurance racing I will not sign them at all in respect to the Palestinian people so good night Hopefully this video won't get banned. And I am emphasizing again, it's about Durvala, but towards the end of the video is about I detoured from my agenda. So yeah, but still believes he's respected by signing that guy from that country. That Attacks innocent Palestinian people. They recently attacked. So, there's such disrespect. I can't say anything right, so. Hopefully, this video won't get banned. And good night.